How's it going everyone? Got quite a lot to talk about in this video. We have a pretty major PlayStation 4 and 5 title that you can play for free right now for the weekend, so we'll talk about that. Another PS Plus benefit that I don't know how many of you want to take advantage of, but it's there, so I'll talk about it. And another recently released free PlayStation 5 title. We'll talk that PlayStation 4 and 5 title. Again, more on that at the end of this video. That game is cross platform play available on pc as well so again we'll get to that in a little bit now before we get into this video i just want to ask you guys please like this video and do leave a comment with your thoughts it really does help out the channel a lot and it is much appreciated First of all, the Crew Motorfest is enjoying a free weekend right now on pretty much every platform. Xbox One, Xbox Series, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, PC, on the Epic Game Store and PC on Ubisoft Connect. Crew Motorfest is a game that came out in September of last year to, uh, to what I feel like very, very little uh, fanfare and attention. I'm sure the crew has an audience that's super invested into these games, and obviously it does given that this is the third iteration of the crew franchise it's the third game in the series and seemingly crew one and two do well enough as live service properties and games that are obviously sold it's just not like you know a free-to-play title and then you just buy in-game stuff um you know, they obviously do well enough where the Ubisoft is continually doing new titles, but Crew Motorfest, I feel like, came out last year and hardly anyone talked about it. It is a $70 game. If you do want to buy it, it's 50% off for $34.99. Welcome to Motorfest. This all-year-round festival will let you enjoy the best experiences car culture has to offer. Explore a vibrant Hawaiian open world. The Crew Motorfest has settled down in one of the most breathtaking places on Earth, the island of Hawaii. Join high speed street races through the bustling city of Honolulu, test your skills off-road on the ashy slopes of a volcano, or master the perfect curve on the track. Celebrate all the facets of car culture as well. Enjoy a variety of thrilling driving activities and choose how you want to have fun with your cars. Discover the playlist and dive into the thematic campaigns that will immerse you in the most exciting car culture universes, including American muscle, Japanese-style street racing, and legendary machines of the past. Collect the most legendary cars, compete in intense driving races, a show off your own style, collect the most iconic cars, and much more. Master every driving challenge and fill your collection with the most legendary vehicles ever created. Uh, Crew Motorfest is a game that they've been doing a lot of free offers for. There's a free trial available as well that would let you play the game for five hours, but this is the entire game free for the weekend. And uh, again, if you do want to buy the game, base game is 50% off for $34.99. You also do have the Ultimate Edition, which includes the base game, and then you get into the stuff that I'm not crazy about. The year one pass with 25 vehicles, three cars at launch, two new vehicles monthly, fitted ultimate pack, fitted rainbow pack, fitted jungle pack. It's a $70 game, and we're monetizing it beyond the $70. I'm sure this is one that uh, Ubisoft deems to be fairly lucrative for them, given that, again, is the third game in the crew franchise. I guess monetizing this makes sense. And I guess, you know, Ubisoft, with some of their live service titles and their games that they monetize long term... Um, it seems like they are relatively successful because they get consistent updates. Like, Riders Republic, I, I guess that game it, it does fairly well. And Riders Republic's not a bad game whatsoever. It's just not a game you hear a lot of people talk about. Same thing with the Crew Motorfest, but if they have that core audience, that's the thing about these live service titles. If they have that core audience that's invested into the game, that'll play the game, and that'll spend money on the game, that's all you need. It can be a smaller base. You just need that core invested into it. And I guess, with the Ubisoft titles, a lot of them do. I don't know if that's going to be the case for Skull and Bones. I find that a little bit hard to believe. But for the crew, we'll see uh, how the longevity goes with that game. Moving on from that, PlayStation Plus members. If we want to talk about uh, live service games, one game that has inspired so many others and has really pushed a lot of publishers and developers to chase after the gravy train is one Fortnite. And if you are a PS Plus subscriber, right now you can get the Blazin Wheels pack of four free. This includes the Lena Scorch outfit with a Lego variant as well as a couple of other outfits and in-game items and things like that. I'm not a big uh, Fortnite guy. I played it a little bit when it was at its absolute height and it seemed like everybody was playing it, but uh, yeah, not a title that I ever really got into, but I'm not gonna like 
bury it or anything like that like fortnite did what it did and it's an incredibly popular game more power to it games that get you know more people especially more casual consumers playing video games it's a good thing guys it's just i hate uh the trickle down effect and almost the butterfly effect that fortnite has had into the rest of gaming where sony for a little while will throw away what brought them to the dance and they'll be like let's chase the live service and so many other publishers let's chase live service warner brothers don't even give a crap about you know doing the games that uh you know i personally like to see you know the batman arkham's of the world they're all about live service these days as well so i do somewhat d detest fortnite for that uh, but it's not the only game and if it wasn't fortnite some other game would have adopted a live servicey model and gotten super popular and then ev everybody was ultimately going to chase after that gravy train whether it was fortnite whether it was a different game the gravy train chasing was going to happen and we needed to go through it we needed a lot of these public Publishers and developers to just fall flat on their face. It sucks when, you know, so many development studios are shutting down over it. And, you know, it's not exclusive to live service games. Let's be real. Single player games uh, flop all the time. Callisto Protocol and Mortals of Avaeum. But uh, there has been so much of a push for live service games where, again, uh, Sony's whole methodology has kind of been halted. And uh, you're not getting a big major franchise release from Sony this year. And I feel like that's partly the reason why. So uh, hopefully a return to form. But live service games are gonna be here to stay and obviously Fortnite is gonna be one of the integral components and one of the biggest titles in all of gaming and um yeah you can get some free PS Plus content my diatribe there over lastly we do have Metaball available free on the PlayStation Store right now as well Metaball is a brand new action-packed sports games join the ultimate sports league on hoverboard in this fast-paced action-packed sports title do impressive tricks and goals as you compete in thrilling PvP matches collect different currencies and rank points and unlock equipment and items grab your hoverboard and dominate the court the game dropped back on march the 7th has a mixed reception right now on steam 120 reviews 65 percent positive but again the game is available for free right now the game was published and developed by bucket play inc and being that this is a multiplayer title i am curious what the longevity of a game like this is going to be they did drop a new patch back on march the 12th as well and uh, of course the game is free to play but it does have in-game purchases and whatnot you've got a starter pack for 9.99 the diamond bundle for 25 dollars. your typical stuff out of a live service game hop on your hoverboard grab the ball with your chain and use its swinging power to perform diverse actions dunk shoot a block and steal the ball while using the night show to boost your speed or perform double or triple jump play versus other riders in different game modes such as quick match tournament or private match after each match you'll receive mvp points depending on the results so make sure to win and to be the best rider to receive a bonus the more you have mvp points the more you will unlock rewards as well so metaball again available free right now over on the playstation store go check it out if you do want maybe you can get some friends to jump in on it as well but that is gonna do it for me again pretty major free weekend here play the crew motor fest standard edition free this weekend on ps4 and ps5 it's also available on pretty much every other platform ps plus members can grab free a uh, fortnite dlc or free fortnite content right now and metaball available free on the playstation store as well that's gonna do it for me let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below sound off there thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.